Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this February 23rd. Well, things are going to change. It's pretty quiet right now. We had some rain showers overnight in the eastern part of our viewing area. Had a few sprinkles here in Bowling Green as well. Uh, As far as any uh, real measurable precipitation, not a lot out there. Uh, Looks like maybe three hundredths of an inch of rain down in Burksville at the Cumberland County site this morning. Uh, Two hundredths down in Albany in Clinton County. And some light rain over toward the Green River Lake area this morning. All that's moving out. Skies are actually clear here in Bowling Green. And looking at uh, the Mesonet sites at this hour, we're looking at temperatures mainly in the 30s back to the west, uh, mid to upper 30s, where skies have cleared. We're sitting at 40 right now in Bowling Green at 4.43 a.m. Central Time. And uh, that blanket of clouds and showers now moving out of the WBKO viewing area as I speak. Now, the sunshine is not going to last long. We'll see a period of sunshine this morning, then increasing clouds as we get through the day. And probably about the time you get home, we'll find the first of the rain to pull into the area. And it looks like a rainy next 24 hours or more as you'll hear in the forecast coming up. Looking at the numbers from yesterday, your Monday, 54. 54 was the official high temperature at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened around 2.30 yesterday. 52 is the average, so we were just 2 degrees above the average high for the day. 42 was our low, while 31 is the average low temperature, so we were 11 degrees above the average low for the day. One year ago, we had a high of 39 and a low of 27. Back in 2015, no precipitation over the past 24 hours. As I mentioned, uh, we're watching uh, a couple of storm systems, two areas of low pressure. Uh, One is along the Gulf Coast right now, the second out of Texas that will be uh, making rounds through southern Kentucky as we uh, go through the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, And by the way, if you have family or friends down along the Gulf Coast, say uh, southern Mississippi, Alabama, uh, maybe even the panhandle of Florida, severe weather, moderate risk, uh, could even go higher than that today. Uh, Later this afternoon and tonight, uh, they're looking at some uh, real severe weather there, maybe some long-track tornadoes. Uh, as later today, uh, that energy crosses uh, down in that area. Uh, my wife has family. As you, if you've been a longtime podcast listener, you know I've got uh, uh, my wife's family is from that area, southern Mississippi, uh, in particular down around the Hattiesburg, Mississippi area, and they're under the gun today for the threat of tornadoes. So we still have family down there. As you know, it was uh, a year ago. Well, last Christmas, uh, that they had a tornado that went right through Columbia, Mississippi. And that is the town that my wife is from. And she has a grandmother that lives there, an aunt and uncle that lives there, several relatives. And uh, it was just, uh, you know, crazy to, to have that happen. That was not this past Christmas, but back in 2014. Uh, when that happened. So they know all about severe weather threats down there and the threat of tornadoes, and they've got it today. Uh, We're not looking at a severe weather threat here. Now, we're going to get some thunderstorms, and the wind's going to blow pretty good, uh, as you'll hear in the forecast, but uh, no threat of severe weather this far north. But Mississippi, Alabama, parts of Georgia, yeah, not looking good next 24 hours so if you have family or friends down there make sure that they know okay for us morning sunshine and then clouds will be on the increase as we go through the day but i think we're going to get by much of today without any rain now we will begin to see rain moving in from our south and west out of middle tennessee and west tennessee As we get into late afternoon and to the evening, maybe 
uh, about the time you get home, say for the drive at 5 or if you get home around 6 or 7, you could begin to see some rain showers pulling in. But we're going to say morning sun with afternoon clouds and a high near 60. Some of you will stay in the upper 50s with a northeast wind at 8. Tonight, though, there is a 100% chance of rain likely. You get that 100% in the forecast, you know it's going to happen for everybody. Rain could be heavy at times along with a few rumbles of thunder. Again, no severe weather expected, a low of 55. We're not going to move much in temperature. As a low-pressure system approaches, it's going to have a warm edge to it, and that's what's going to ramp up the rain chances and bring in the gusty winds too. And then for Wednesday, and it's just going to be a yucky, yucky day on Wednesday, 80% chance of rain and thunderstorms, especially in the morning. And we're going to establish an early day high around 60 or upper 50s. And then temperatures will begin to fall during the course of the afternoon as the colder air starts to move in. Winds out of the west at 20 to 40 miles per hour. I'm sure there will be some type of a wind advisory that goes up uh, for the day, well, maybe even tonight or tomorrow. Uh, then temperatures will fall down to 32 by Wednesday night. That's when we see the uh, low pressure system departing Kentucky, western Kentucky, and some of that wraparound moisture with the colder air coming in could change some of the rain over to some wet snow. But as of right now, we are not calling for any accumulation out of this except for maybe in some of the grassy areas, rooftops, cars, things like that. Uh, I don't think it's going to be here long enough, uh, the colder air, to uh, really do a number on snow. Plus, it would be a kind of a warmer, wetter snow that would have a tough time accumulating. We've had five days of uh, really unseasonably warm air. So the ground has warmed up. Surfaces are warmed up a little bit more, and I just think the snow is going to have a tough time. Now, there are some forecasts once you get into central Kentucky, um, eastern Kentucky. They they may be, I don't know, I, I, personally I think they're kind of overblowing things here with this. The wind, I think, is and the rain is going to be the bigger factor. One to two inches of rain, some heavy rain, some localized flooding, certainly possible. Uh, but as far as the snow, I don't think it's going to be a big deal for us. It's going to be a bigger deal across the Ohio River into southern Illinois, maybe southwestern Indiana, where it's going to, uh, that backside of that low uh, is going to be colder for a little bit longer, and the air will have enough time to get cold enough to where they could see some accumulating snow. Southern Illinois, maybe the Boot Hill of Missouri, and southwestern Indiana, but as far as that track of the low that we're seeing right now, and we're pretty certain on the track now, uh, I don't think it's going to be here long enough to give us any big deal on snow. But we've mentioned it in the forecast. There could be some grassy accumulation, and that's about it. Thursday morning, we'll wake up to some snow showers, but those will come to an end. But we'll only see a high around 40, some of you in the upper 30s. And then a chilly uh, 27 for Thursday night, still breezy on Thursday. So that will make for some bitter wind chills as we go through the day Thursday. That'll be the worst day out of the next seven, really, as far as cold and wind, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Friday, though, we see improvement, mostly sunny 43. A warm front comes through Saturday, sunshine and 56. We should have a great day. On Saturday, that uh, two Saturdays in a row. Uh, it won't quite be 70-degree weather, but it'll be nice. Sunday, we see increasing clouds with a high of 63. We've bumped up that number a bit. Southwest winds at 12. There will be rain showers coming in Sunday night into Monday morning. Monday's high at 56. As I mentioned yesterday, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week in the state of Kentucky. And today... This morning, please note, this morning, Tuesday morning at 9.07 a.m. Central Time, if you have a NOAA weather radio that has an alert tone on it, 
built in, or if you live near an outdoor warning siren, those will go off at approximately 9.07. It may be 9.06, maybe 9.08, maybe 9.10, but a little past 9 a.m. this morning, all those things will be activated. And we will be running a crawl across the bottom of the screen. When you see that, just know that it is a test. It is a test tornado drill statewide across Kentucky. Schools, government offices, and people will be participating in that along with us. So just know that it's a test. This is the annual test tornado drill, usually done in March. But we moved it up this year to take advantage of... uh, Schools being in session after they've been out with all the snow. And if we get too late into March, there's cats testing and stuff going on. So we didn't want to uh, mess that up. But uh, today, 9.07 a.m., sirens, weather radios, all that should work. If they don't, uh, then that's why we do the test to make sure that everything is working as it should. All right, there you go. Have a great day. Thanks for listening, and uh, God bless you. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Then later this afternoon, join me for the Chris Allen Radio Show with classic hits Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 this afternoon.